Hey, what's going on there, folks? How's it going? Saturday night here on this end. It is the Earth Master, March 2nd, 2024. It's about 10.20 p.m. here, California time. Latest activity here on the Earthquake 3D globe. Looks like 4.0 down there in South America. Also, uh, some movement out on the big island of Hawaii with a 2.3. New Zealand down here rocking and rolling, it looks like, as well. We'll get to that here in just a little bit. Just doing a quick update here on the Iceland activity. Earlier this morning, we had been looking at uh, a couple hundred earthquakes popping up here in a short amount of time. Uh, that is obviously a sign of some magma intrusion going on, magma movement below the surface. Well, that has since died out completely. A little on the shocking side because uh, I was almost certain and quite a few other um, geologists and whatnot were certain that uh, we'd see... Uh, an eruption likely today, but that did not happen. They did raise the elevated or the uh, color code here to an orange um, due to all this elevated activity, but their latest informational statement shows that uh, there's indications that the magma intrusion has stopped, obviously due to lack of earthquake activity. Too early to declare that there will be no eruption at this time, so got to watch that. Um, you know, we can look at uh, magma intrusion taking place underneath the surface, elevated earthquake activity, elevated deformation, uh, and then things just kind of halt. Uh, I, I don't think we're, um, you know, done yet. Just maybe a little pause here in the activity. We're still seeing uh, elevated inflation going on here across the area of Grindavik, uh, which is, uh, let me show you guys this GPS station here real quick, right here. A little droppage, though. Look at that in the last eight-hour run. Um, so it's possible, possible maybe we've seen the, the magma um, head off somewhere else aside from this region. It just seems a little weird. We'd get tons of inflation and then uh, a droppage with no eruption taking place. little on the odd side. So we'll continue to watch that and report back on anything. But for now, uh, things uh, stabilized for the most part there across the Grindavik area in Iceland. All right, Hawaii, definitely lighting up out here in the last couple hours uh, around the Kilauea Volcano and out here across the Pahala area. Some of this earthquake activity, um, well, relatively shallow below the surface there, just below the surface for the latest 2.1 earthquake there off on the southwest rift zone. So let's go see what's going on here across the, the big island of Hawaii, where I'm sure it's a little bit warmer than what we're having here in California. It's just been a crazy cold, wintry day. As uh, far as seismograph stations go out here, there's a handful of earthquakes in the last 24 hours. It does look a little bit more elevated in terms of the multitude of quakes and the magnitudes as well. Uh, the latest deformation stations here. Let's go ahead and check that out see what we have for uh, the activity, because obviously... Uh, elevated earthquake activity could mean that uh, we're seeing some uh, magma roll around down below the surface. Uh, looking at the last two days here of the summit region, uh, does show a little bit of inflation, nothing major. Here's the past uh, past month. Now notice here, you know, we have been steady on the uh, incline here, the uptick in terms of inflation. Although this map doesn't show the huge drop that we've seen there at the summit prior to the to the uh, second there of February, uh, so we're still very low in terms of the um, elevated uh, inflation going on out here. But uh, you know, obviously we're keen up here a little bit in terms of the um, of the magma activity and inflation below the surface. So we'll continue to watch that. Uh, a lot going on here. Uh, across the area to the south. Um, quite a few earthquakes here across New Zealand recently. Quite a few deeper ones in, as well, including this 4.4. Uh, 376 kilometers here. Looks like that may be just onto the northern edge here of the Hikarangi subduction zone. We did see a, uh, another pr uh, deep earthquake there this morning, a 4.6. 172 kilometers deep. So elevated movement out here across New Zealand recently, including this 4.3. Just been kind of watching it here uh, all day. I mean, we haven't seen any uh, major movement, but definitely the multitude of quakes are picking up out here. We're getting a lot of deeper quakes and uh, further quakes here along the plate boundary there across South Island. So we'll continue to watch that. Be on guard out there. 
uh, the Fiji area, Vanuatu, and uh, Salomon Islands looks fairly quiet here, at least on the globe. Not a whole lot showing up here in this area today. Uh, again, most of that activity back building here across this plate boundary. Uh, minimal earthquake activity across the Japan area for now. Uh, looks like the uh, uh, a couple earthquakes out here uh, earlier this afternoon. Did see a 4.8 across the East China Sea. Fairly deep into this region. 157 kilometers in that area. And the uh, latest one, though, 4.9 across the uh, New Guinea area. Over here around the Owen Fracture Zone, seen a 4.9 coming in. This area did see a, um, a six-pointer here a couple days ago. So some divergent zone activity taking place here across the uh, Indian Ocean area, close to the Arabian Sea. Over here across uh, the Greece region, four-pointer this morning. Let's see what we got here across the rest of the globe. Uh, minimal activity. There's a, you know, a decent little swarm occurring out here, as you can see, just off the coast of Italy, it looks like, along the plate boundary, um, probably within this region right here. Uh, seeing quite a few twos and threes out there. Uh, nothing major going on there for now, but definitely uh, seeing a little bit of elevated activity. 4.2 out in the India region here. Um, or no, that could be, uh, let's see what we got. That's probably the Pakistan area for that 4.2. Fairly recent earthquake. Uh, let's see, let me pull up the world map here from the EMSC model. See what we got going on across the area. There's that 4.2 Pakistan region. Got a 4.0 coming, coming into the Chile area about 21 minutes ago. Here's the uh, EMSC model of uh, earthquake activity here in the last 24 hours uh, the uh, New Zealand area obviously seen uh, like I mentioned quite a few earthquakes down here okay it's just a little on the glitchy side not gonna deal with that all night <laughs> don't like it when stuff does that all right uh, what else we got out here yeah so we'll keep an eye on Iceland even though it's calmed down doesn't mean it's over I think we're just looking at a pause here in the divergent boundary across Iceland that will probably kick back up here shortly. Um, South Sandwich Trench way down here. Looks like we've seen a uh, five-pointer earlier this morning. Puerto Rico area. Handful of earthquakes once again around the Puerto Rico Trench. 4.2 and a couple other earthquakes in here this morning. As far as the states go. Of course, California dealing with some big-time winter storm systems. Got a little active activity out here in the Oklahoma region. This region did see that, uh, oh, that decent earthquake here last month. Has it been over? Yeah, it was last month uh, near the Prague, Oklahoma area. Uh, today, they're seeing a handful of twos and some ones out there. Texas area rocking and rolling out there in the oil fields. Nothing going on here across Yellowstone, but uh, let, let me just double check. I want to glance and double check this, make sure. Um, aside from some wind events going on here, doesn't look like there's too much earthquake activity. Uh, Pacific Northwest, relatively quiet. One earthquake here at the southern end of the Cascadia subduction zone, a 2.7. Uh, on that note, I want to double check the trimmer map out here, see what we have for trimmer. Nothing. Zip zero, nada coming in there for the trimmer. Yesterday, what do we have out here? About 17 trimmers down there into the uh, southern end of the Cascadia. Take a little pause, it looks like, across the area. Uh, but for now, 2.7, 27 kilometers here into this zone. Uh, the Bay Area, fairly quiet. Got one little earthquake, a 1.5 off of the uh, Calaveras Fault Zone. Scattered movement out here across the rest of the state. Really no major swarming going on. No uh, major unusual activity to note there across the west coast. And the 2.5 map and above. Well, it shows that. Uh, looks like we had a 2.6 down here across the Brago Springs there from uh, earlier this evening. But aside from that, uh, things just looking uh, not too active across the west coast. As uh, far as the Aleutian Trench goes, a couple ones and twos and even a handful of uh, larger, well not larger, but moderate uh, quakes out there near the King Cove area of Alaska from early, super early this morning, just after midnight or so. 
All right, uh, let's check out space weather. Anything major going on there with the departing of 3590? Still seeing some magnetic arches there from that massive sunspot that, uh, well, it's completely out of sight here now. Uh, it still looks like it's fairly active out there on the far western limb of the sun. Do you have some prominences here popping up all over the place, including the eastern limb out here? So we'll have to continue to watch that in the days ahead. We do have a couple active regions here, 3600 uh, back out over here. And it looks like another one starting to join up here. Um, for now, really not a whole lot of uh, potential for some for any type of strong flaring. Uh, we might may see some sea flare activity, but it doesn't look like we're seeing anything complex at the moment. Uh, 3600 here. We'll continue to watch that. Uh, it is uh, just coming around the bend there from the uh, southeastern limb. Looks quite active out here. Uh, overall threat right now, 95% chance for a C flare. M flare at 25, X flare around 1% chance or so. And really, not a whole lot of auroras in the forecast, folks. I keep saying that, but I'm hoping that will change here soon. Goodness. All right, uh, Storm Prediction Center out here. Well, we got some thunderstorm activity, it looks like, continuing across the California area. Uh, it's cold. Definitely getting a lot of colder air coming in right now. I got uh, 37 degrees. Uh, it's a little chilly out here. And uh, that's due to that massive low pressure system, which uh, looks like it's now parked over there off the coast of uh, Washington area, bringing with it a lot of colder air. Uh, looks quite nice and warm out there around Oklahoma and Texas for, for nighttime temperatures. Goodness. Uh, either way, we do have um, we do have some more rain and snow here in the forecast for California. As we look at the GFS model run here, we'll watch the slow pressure system kind of spin around here a little bit and provide snow showers up there in the Sierra Nevada where Interstate 80 is still closed. Uh, down here across portions of the southeast as we head into next week looks quite stormy uh, in terms of the uh, rainfall down there. A little cut off low pressure system here uh, about Tuesday or Wednesday of, of uh, this coming week. Going to be uh, providing Southern California it looks like with a little bit of rain. Nothing big expected though. And after that um, I'm really not seeing anything major on the horizon for California. Pacific Northwest always getting slammed up there. Uh, that storm system looks a little decent, but, uh, we'll have to watch it. It's a ways out there. Um, I was just looking at the Caltrans map here. And, uh, again, as I mentioned, I-80 currently closed up there. And, uh, on the news there, I was seeing a couple semi trucks that were just abandoned up there, stuck in the snow. A lot of these cameras have been blown offline or just completely covered with ice. Um, I was up in the mountains today, up in the coast range and, uh, at about two feet there at 5,000 feet or about 5,500 feet or so uh, just fresh powder uh, overnight so that was kind of neat but uh, yeah as far as I know um, Interstate 80 is still shut down in both directions uh, looks like they may have a little bit more snow tonight snow level dropping quite low uh, this is at 3,800 feet looks like a little snow out there uh, maybe around Colfax as well. Let's see what we got. Um, rain or snow likely. Snow level supposed to be around 2,000 feet tonight or potentially lower. Uh, but again, these guys will continue to deal with some snow showers. And um, hopefully they'll get that interstate open eventually. After everything uh, calms down. The wind has calmed down a little bit. Seen some wind gusts up there. Oh, uh, man, I think it was around South Lake Tahoe or up in the mountains here, just to the west. Uh, about 190 mile per hour wind gust. That was a very strong jet associated with this. So um, that is some extreme wind out there. Goodness. Even a funnel cloud was spotted down there in Southern California once again. That's two funnel clouds here in the last couple or two. One was a tornado because there was ground circulation. This second one today, I don't think it was uh, connected to the ground. So uh, definitely just a funnel cloud. But uh, either way, I've seen some uh, crazy weather out here recently. All right, uh, what else we got here, folks? I think that's about it. Um, again, kind of crazy with the Iceland deal. Just uh, It's amazing how it uh, was super, super 
busy this morning. Uh, looks like it's starting to pick back up. Look at that. When was this? Last six hours. This I just checked this here. And um, did they just add these on here? Uh, Grindavik out here. Looks like the sun's rising already out there across Iceland. Uh, this is the town there, Grindavik. Area of concern would be out here across the lava fields. Don't see any uh, visible lava yet. But um, yeah, it looks like earthquake activity is kind of kicking back up here right now across the area. So we'll continue to watch it, folks. It could happen tonight. Uh, I, I thought it was going to happen this morning. If we look at the last 24 hours or so, you can see broad scale earthquake activity out here and more distinct around this region here of where we would expect to see eruptive activity take place and uh i wasn't the only one a couple other geologists out here stated that uh eruption was likely today so um you know yeah it may it may still happen here soon so we'll continue to watch that and report back on it till then folks have a good night have a good safe night saturday night I think I'm going to call it. I spent uh, most of the day out in the snow, so I'm a little bit on the tired side. Snow does that to you. Have a good night, folks. Catch you guys back here in the morning for the Sunday morning update. Take care.